back into the action here as Max Choriev takes on Tyler Rusin. Back at it with the kickboxing folks. Please welcome to the cage, Tyler Rusin. Making his way into the cage, it is Tyler Rusin coming by way of Logan's Fight Club. Now, stepping into the kickboxing, he started this just as personal training to lose weight, and it became a passion of his. He loves the fighting that shows another side of him. He says that this isn't my real life, and this is what I do now to show how wicked I can really be. And his opponent, Maradbeck. Choriev! Coming to the cage by way of Uzbekistan, it is Max Choriev coming to us by Finney's MMA. Now, this is his first time in the kickboxing cage, but he has fought in the world of mixed martial arts. He was looking for new experiences when he found the world of kickboxing and MMA, and he has put together with quite a team over there at Finney's MMA. As we go to our tail of the tape, brought to you by Supplement Superstores, Max Choria, only 20 years old, 5 foot 10, 168.8 pounds. Tyler Rusin, 35 years old, 5 foot 11, 166.8 pounds. This fight should be a lot of fun. It should be. Ladies and gentlemen, this kickboxing match is set for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Metro PCS blue corner, a fighter that stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 166.8 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Tyler Roussin! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the Metro PCS red corner. A fighter that stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 168.8 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Maradbeck Jory Joe Breezy is more talented than me linguistically. I'm just going to call him Max. Yeah, we're going to go with Max. Max. Quick touch of the gloves here, Roos and kind of throwing him single. Nice left hand though, they're out of Max. Yeah, Roos came with... Big shot to the body again is Choriev. Roos has come with a lot of volume on his jabs to try to chase him down. Now, Rusin is blitzing, but look at the head movement there out of Choriev. Yeah, head movement and a really good kick to the body. Max uh, was a former high school wrestler, really, really good wrestler, physical, physical kid. And he is coming to fight. Way to listen, buddy. Way to listen, Max. Get the jab going. Yep. Watch circle and power. Circle right. The pace is not slowing down here in these minute and a half rounds. No, yes, pace. Referee had to break there, just like you said, you get one knee. Also, it was low. Yes. There was a low shot in there. Yes. Deep breath, Max. But yes, you get one knee from the clinch in the world of K1. You have to clinch to the back of the neck, throw the knee, release. You can then in turn clinch again, but you have to do them and release. Yes. Quick K1 rules there. I liked it. Back into the action here. Quick touch of the gloves. Choriev in the blue, or I'm sorry, in the red tape. Tyler Rusin in the blue. Nice front kick coming out of Rusin. And you can't kick people low. That's pretty much a universal, a universal yes. rule. Nice. He really chopped that leg, but then fired a shot right back up over the top to Max. The combinations here coming out of both fighters. Big. Left hand there out of Choria, followed with a body shot. Oh, it looks like he wanted to almost grab that leg, single leg takedown. Sometimes that MMA is hard to get rid of. Yep. Well, going, going back to the South Pole, uh, South Pole. Couple of late shots after the bell there. 
Southpaw Point, Jeremy. Sorry about that. Had a little little hiccup there. Uh, Southpaw Point. Max is a Southpaw, and that's why he's having such good success with those body kicks. It always lines up, especially if you're in good position. Watch for him to go to that body kick or low kick a few times that power side, and then start uncorking a little bit more volume to the head too, because you can only take so many of those to the legs or body before your hands go down and you come back over the top with something. As we saw there in the Mattingly Lumber instant replay again, a couple of shots after the bell, unintentional as we believe, but referee Dwayne Best had to jump in there and stop it. Yes. Not a good play there. No, was. Wasn't a uh, Hector Lombard no, 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 no. good tab over the bell. Settle. And Rusin looks good, looks focused, still in here, in shape, and he's moving forward the whole time. Settle. Touch of the gloves. How do you see it so far, Ryan? You know, I think Max threw a little bit. More, or actually, I'll say a lot more effective shots that round. I, I definitely, definitely give him that first round. Bruce like, and trying to make some chopping here, but again, that front or that kick to the body is working for Max. Again, nice step out with a big, big shot. Yeah, that was really, really good timing by Max. He moved backwards, but then planted and landed a great counter shot as Bruce as Bruce charged forward. Big shot up top, again answers. Choria trying to finish, throwing heavy hands. Dwayne Best right on top. Yeah. Too much, just overwhelmed him. Once he found his range, having him backed up to the cage, just like you asked, hey, what's it like fighting in a cage as far as kickboxing? You saw right there, he trapped him in the cage, nowhere to go, and started unloading. Beautiful display there as we go to our Mattingly Lumber instant replay. Kick to the head, hands being thrown. Choria finds his range and just referee Dwayne Bess has no choice but to stop that fight. Yeah, those were the definition of punches and bunches. Let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, at 45 seconds into round number two, the referee has called a stop to this one. Your winner by TKO, Maradek Choriev! Max Choriev adds a kickboxing win now to his record. What a display, Ryan. Yeah, future's bright for Max Choriev. Talented, talented wrestler. Now he showed his kickboxing chops. He looks phenomenal tonight. Big wins against a very game Tyler Rusin, too. Absolutely. And we have more to come, and we will be taking a short break, and we will be right back right after this.